and a little bit more. They don't know how you like it. So I started my trip with cleaning my motorcycle visor with dish detergent. This helps with fogging in your motorcycle helmet when it's cold and it'll help me see better on this long cold ride. What's up, it's Queen I'm getting ready to go to Atlanta, Georgia. It's about an eight hour ride from St. Louis. About to ride my motorcycle, meet up with some of my friends, and it's about 27 degrees right now. Um, it's freezing, but I'm gonna put my new heated grips to the test. I got on some thermals, I got on a t-shirt, a hoodie, a windproof jacket, and then this uh, Harley jacket on top. And we got action. Queen sit out here. We just get started on the road trip. We're about to fill up. It's freezing down here, but I'm gonna fill up and uh, go hit the road. We have the Four Rivers Harley Davidson. I believe this is in Kentucky. Here's my bike, packed up. Hello. All I gotta say is it's cold. It's about 20 degrees and it's freezing out here. But we made it. We in Kentucky. Making a quick stop. Um headed to Atlanta. I'm cold. Five more hours. You come up, don't forget about your dog. It's 11:37, and I'm cold. It's like 20 something degrees, uh, and then on a bike, it's even colder. I just put ten dollars and twenty cent on my bike, and I'm finna eat something, cause it's cold, and I ain't even got nothing to eat. I'm just gonna eat some hot fries and a drink. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not feeling it. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to get there. Thank you. We still got two hours left, and I'm, I'm not happy right now. Period. At this point, I was mentally and physically exhausted. The entire trip, I was feeling good, but at this point, it was cold, I was hungry, I hadn't ate all day, and I needed to eat and drink something to give my body energy to continue on the trip. I got a hard one too. And, um, Fish and cheese. I'm drinking this body armor. It helped me. I was listening to my music. I've also put a yeah. hair on it. Yeah. I can in talk my, to her on her bike. I'll be like, I'm hey. cold. Like, you just gotta go walk <laughs> we just got off the road. We left St. Louis around 12 p.m. and it's 3:22 a.m. But we made it. It's raining. It's cold. It's like 30 some degrees, and we outside. And look, I got I got outlaw Chappie here. How you feel? Pringles. Pringles <laughs> are the only thing that matters right now. <laughs> So I'm getting a good night's sleep tonight. I don't know what I'm gonna do tomorrow, but I'm in Atlanta and it's about to go down. What's up? It's the next morning after we didn't 
came from St. Louis to Atlanta. It's Atlanta. And let me tell you, this road glides, these road glides are just different. These things were like amazing during the trip. Like, they were so smooth. It it battled the wind. Oh my God, it was so windy because it was freezing cold. And I don't know why the wind was like crazy, but crazy high speeds winds trying to blow you off the road. And our bikes pushed right through. It split the wind. The road glide is so nasty. Like, I appreciate my bike so much more when I woke up this morning. I was like, dang, my bike straight did that. So it's the next morning. And I could definitely say my hands are sore, I guess, from squeezing the throttle. Um, I actually got a cramp buster on this cramp buster. So I bought it from like Cycle Gear, like a local motorcycle store. It's probably like a two dollars. And you just slide it right on top. So when you ride it, your palm can just do that. Instead of gripping, I can ride like this and stretch my fingers out. So we made it. I'm about to go get dressed. And um, we're gonna get it cramp. Hey, I appreciate it. <laughs> Somebody said they finna roll with us because we ride motorcycles. Hey, we outside. Woo. Ooh, that's me. Ooh, ooh. I'm at this pizza place in Atlanta, Georgia. It's supposed to be really good. All right, so you pick your pizza, you click your top of it, and that's mine. Fur. Yeah, that's still grandma. It's this longer for just for the bikes. This is crazy. What's up, it's Queens? I'm leaving Atlanta. You ready to go back to St. Louis about an eight hour drive? I had an excellent weekend. So much fun, and me and my friends are about to head out. Queen City, I'm out. Headed back. It's been good, Atlanta. We out. We out. Raggedy. Got to Tennessee. And, you know, I normally wear my Bent Wheel helmet, but this trip, I wore the new Simpson helmet I got. And I'm gonna have to do a review on this and let y'all know if I'm feeling it or if I'm not. Coming soon. <laughs> Almost home. It got about two more hours, I think, two or three. I don't know, but I found some pizza. Now I'm just being fat and I'm gonna be sleepy when I ride. We all outside. Hey, hey let, me, let me show y'all something. Roll glide, roll glide, roll glide. Uh, there's another one over here somewhere. Oh, did that I don't know. And I'm about to go back home to St. Louis. Loving this bag. What's up, it's Queen. Um, I'm back from my Atlanta trip. Uh, it's freezing out here in St. Louis. What's up? So I'm back from Atlanta and the trip was amazing. For my first long distance ride, it was like one of the best experiences I could have asked for. Like everyone made it there safely and everyone returned home safely. And that's all you can really ask for. It was like 20 degrees, like I said earlier, and all I had was my heated grips. And when I say that's all I needed, like that was it. So um, the Kahuna grips I have from Harley Davidson has, they have six heat settings. So on the way to Atlanta, uh, I had it on the highest setting of six and I could feel the heat through my gloves. Now my hands weren't just like toasty hot, but they were warm enough to make it through the trip on the highway. Um, I've always thought about getting heated gloves, but after this trip, I'm just going to stick with the heated grips. Um, that's all I needed, honestly. And on the way back, it was the temperatures like went up to about 40. And 
I was able to turn my heat grips down to about the setting three. So that's about halfway and it was warm because sometimes my hands were getting too hot. The grips were like making my hands burn, which wasn't a bad thing because I was still chilly. So um, it was amazing. I mean, we got there. We went to a motorcycle event. I met a lot of new people. Um, Most of all, I got to ride my motorcycle. You know, I just bought it in August and um, I put some serious miles on it over the trip and just being comfortable with my bike. And um, it was just a really, really great experience. I will say that now I'm super excited to take my next road trip because this one was just amazing. So in a week, uh, in about a week and a half, I'm going to be taking a trip somewhere else. So make sure you're following me on Instagram. Make sure you're following my stories for behind the scenes. That's about it for my trip. Be looking out for the next one. And I truly appreciate everyone for watching my vlogs, for following me on Instagram, for liking my pictures, whatever. I appreciate all of it. And if you've made it this far in the video, I just want to say thank you and be looking out for the big announcements. And it's Queen Sit and I'm out. Peace.